Please don't. I've already had to put up with that howling long enough. Still, much better than having to gaze at your mug all day. Hey! Do you think that I suffer from ear potatoes? Professor Rufus presents the miracle of heat exchange. Sweet. the latest thing. What's that? A tinfoil hat. It'll help you remember. Then leave it where it is. I drink to forget. I don't want you to remember the past, just the future. <laughs> Sounds like a change of strategy. As I have absolutely no future anyhow, it can't get any worse. That's the spirit. But if it's all the same to you, I'll use my own. Sure, of course. I would too if I put. Whoa, 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 wait a minute! What? You had a tinfoil hat with you the whole time? Must have been a flash of divine inspiration. I do so love nibbling the wrap off Matsuka's bottle. I did, however, line it with straw in order to. I get it. You had a tinfoil hat. All that work for nothing. How incredibly hilarious. You see me wiping tears of laughter from my crow's feet. Can we finally move along here? Be my guest. But with what? Now, I don't want to bore you with details. Just remember this one thing. If history repeats itself, try to stop that pink elephant somehow. Yeah, okay, why not? It's the least I can do. I think so, too. Hey, Mac. Do you have a minute? Given the context, would you like to rephrase that question? I'll take that as a yes. Do we want to turn back time again? I don't know. It seems less and less like a good idea to me. Are you sure you're well prepared this time? You realize everything that you've done since the accident will be reversed. Whatever. I can do it over again if need be. The main thing is that the glasses remain intact. Well, yes, but perhaps with a bit more preparation, one could... Too late! Nina, Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? Uh, here we go again. Rufus? 
Are you there? Where else? Shall we have another go? <laughs> I can hardly wait. Come on. 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 Turn now. A little more to the right. Careful. A sweet wombat. Go back a little. Dodge the vultures. Forward a bit. And stop. Perfect. Are you sure that I can leave it here? 100%. Whew. Then the timeline is probably intact again. That means... What is that? Uh, I'm receiving strange values. Values? What are you talking about? No idea. I... Rufus! Quack! It's here! Hurry! Tuck! What happened? The pink elephant. It was here. I wrestled with it. For a short while, I felt I was winning. But then, it disappeared into the ground. If anything's disappearing around here, it's your grip on reality. But you saw it, too. I'm not so sure anymore. Maybe it was all just my imagination. Well, your imagination has a really hard left hook. I know. But enough of that. The glasses are safe and sound. Everything else is secondary. I'll go get Tony, and then we're out of here. Yeah, I fear things will turn out different. I sure hope so. He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practiced, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus. May Tetanus be with us. Hey, Rufus! Wait a minute! Not now, Wenzel. I have more important things to do than to listen to your squeaking. You're still a jack-o'-lantern, just the same. Hi there, Snuggle Bunny. <sighs> You'll never believe what happened today. Oh no. What have you gone and done now? Nothing. Why? No fires or explosions. No. Anyone injured or horribly burnt? Animals count too, you know. Nothing of the sort. Well then, you're right. I don't believe you. I have got to tell you about my dream. Can't that wait until after we've left? Uh, well, maybe so, but it was totally awesome. The Organon wanted to blow the Ponya to bits, but I sure showed them where the Wombat's teeth hang. <laughs> hmm, perhaps it's some kind of expression for pressed self-loathing. I'm just saying that because you always end up blowing everything up. Self-loathing? Don't be silly! I'm great! Although, it is somewhat surprising that in my dream, all of the Organon were cloned with me. No further questions, Your Honor. We broke up. Yeah. I often dream that, too. At last! A week without the kitchen going up in flames. Well, it wasn't quite like that. Somehow, I was still living with you. Oh, so more like a nightmare. I met an Elysian, a real orbit pixie. Are you getting back at me for dreaming about Cowboy Dodo? You dream about Cowboy Dodo? Every woman dreams of Cowboy Dodo. Oh, I think he was in my dream, too. Do I need to be worried then? It wasn't that kind of dream. Quite the opposite. I really gave him a pounding. Oh. Huh? I had almost made it to Elysium. But then your human love when it got in the way. You always say that when your plans fail. But this time it really was like that. You mean in your dream. Oh, yeah, sorry. 
it was just all so realistic. So the next time you aren't quite sure, if one of your plans appears to be realistic, it's highly likely to be just a dream. In the end, I sacrificed my life to save Deponia. <laughs> you, of all people. Why not? Do I need to remind you that I donated my lymphatic system for medical research? That doesn't count. They only want it so they can work out how you got the spaghetti in there. Also, you hardly did it out of the milk of human kindness. You did it for a subscription to Surgeons Weekly. I only read it for the article. Honest. At the end, I was old. And there was snow everywhere. I thought you had sacrificed yourself. Ooh, somehow it doesn't fit. I must have survived. But at what price? Everything was so hopelessly broken that I finally blew Deponia to smithereens. That must have been by far the longest, sickest nightmare in history. Mm, I don't know. We've been together a while now, haven't we? Oh, you've never understood any of my dreams. The more you tell me, the prouder I am of that fact. Enough talk. Let's go. Yeah, why not? What? No cynical comment? No doubt? No venomous jibes? And not today. I've just about had enough of this place. I can hardly wait to get out of here. Come on, Titch. I still have to pack my crystal glasses and say bye to Pops. <laughs> Precisely. This time, nothing did happen to the glasses. What do you mean, this time? Well, that's, that's nothing you need to worry your pretty head about. The main thing is the glasses are safe and sound, right? Yeah, that would be better for you. Much better. Well, this is going to be one fun balloon trip. <laughs> ah, shut your pie hole. Hurry up! So, you got something to say to me? Uh, on to Elysium? I mean, about broken glass. Sheesh! <laughs> broken glass? <laughs> it uh, brings good luck, no? You mean, like the luck of having a completely intact lower jaw? Gonna have to disappoint you there. Ouch! Tony! I'm disappointed in you, Rufus. I always thought you'd be the one to bring a breath of fresh air into this dump. But... I got it all wrong. You make the same mistakes again and again and again! It was entertaining the first two or three times, but wears thin by the fourth. Have a great time with your next attempt to reach Elysium, Rufus. If you need me. I'll be with my dad. And for one last time, keeping the fire extinguisher on standby. Tony! Wait! Damn it! All because of that damned elephant again. Where's Tuck anyway? He was supposed to keep an eye on things. You just can't trust anyone for anything around here anymore. Hey, Rufus! Not now, Macomb Pickle. I have other things on my mind. Bit of girlfriend trouble? Ex-girlfriend. Thanks for that. Oh, jeez, Louise. And that's my fault? Uh, exactly. Because it wouldn't have happened otherwise. Oh, dear. That's just so wrong. Then do something about it. But what if we inflict more harm by doing this? More than we already have? Do you want me to shove your stupid rod up your ass? Oh, okay then. I I'll help you, whatever the cost.
<sighs> there they are, the shards of a dysfunctional relationship. Was it really too much to ask for you to prevent this debacle, Kowalski? I've no idea how this could have happened. I think that elephant is just too darn clever for us. Ah, hogwash. They haven't hatched the elephant that could put one over on old Rufus. Perhaps they still need to do that. The indicators are getting denser that, uh, oh, uh, muscle tough? Ah, Mac, perfect timing. Why? What are you planning? I think we went at the whole thing ass backwards. This is a crime scene. There have to be clues, traces. With my criminological skill and your Watson ability, we'll have this case solved before the elephant can say, Please, let's not stick around here for too long. That elephant could still be close by. I sure hope so. I'll put a knot in its trunk so that it never forgets what happens when you mess with Rufus. It is definitely still here. I'm completely certain now. Whatever you saw there is traveling through time. So that's why it's always one step ahead of us. Or behind. Difficult to say. I think I'm feeling sick again. Drink up, Tuck. Time to hunt elephants. Hmm? Strange. The shard glows here. Really? Then there's got to be a radiation source close by. Wait. Well, hello there. Aha. Uh -huh. Elephant skin. As far as I know, elephants don't shed their skins. Yeah, yeah. First you refused to believe in pink elephants, and now all of a sudden you're an expert. Well, to me, that just looks like an ordinary bit of cloth. And the mysterious glow? My guess is tachyon radiation. It happens when matter is moved backwards through time. I'm measuring traces of it in the whole area here, and the broken shard has shifted it into the visible spectrum. Look, if I wanted a lecture, I'd buy myself a ticket for the university. There are no tickets to get to university, merely the numerous classes. Right. And on Junker's Eve, he comes flying over the roofs, bringing gifts. I mean, if that's the kind of crap you teach your students... Wait a minute. Did you say traces? Did I say that? Yes, of course. We can use the shard to make the tassel worm radiation visible. Come on. I have an idea.
Ha! A secret lever! Gentlemen, I present... The Secret... Elephant Hideout! Okay, seriously, Mac, how do you always do that da 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 thing? Huh? Dad, whatever. There are more important secrets to reveal. Stay behind me. Wow. That must be the remains of the abandoned mall. Emphasis on abandoned. Exactly. There's no one here. Let's go. One moment. You see that tunnel there? The specimen has used it, and it wasn't that long ago. Then maybe it's still here. Hurrah. 